Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you installing a recovery and routing your Samsung J7 2016. Let's do this. Alright guys, so this video is only for the Samsung J7 2016 Exynos variants only. Do not try to attempt on any other device. Check the description box for more information. Also, download all of the files from the description box right below of this video. So once you download all of the four files, place it on your desktop for easier navigation. There you go, these are the four files that is required. The first one is the Odin and go ahead and extract the Odin on your computer. So once you extract the Odin, delete the zip file, we no longer need Need that zip file so as always go ahead and extract the uh, Samsung USB drivers so on your computer so if you haven't installed the Samsung drivers yet install it right now because it is an important and go ahead and double click on it and install it so I already installed it that's why it's showing me the uh, confirmation message then after that go ahead and copy the uh, super SU which is a root file on your phone to SD card only so don't copy to the internal SD only on external SD so once you copy the file so go ahead and I'm gonna be switching back to the camera view on your mobile phone on your Samsung J7 in this case go to the settings about device and click on software information and tap the build number seven times until you're gonna see the message developer settings has enabled so then after that go back and then you're gonna see the developer options turn on the developer options and then go ahead click on the OEM on unlock and turn on that button then after that at the bottom you're gonna see the USB debugging go ahead and turn it on again so then after that you need to turn off your device so go ahead and hold the power button and then click on the power off and your device will be turned off so after the device is successfully turned off so now we need to put the device into the download mode to do so hold the power volume down and the home button until you see the download mode Once you see this uh, blue screen, so now go ahead click on the volume up button to continue to the downloading mode and then go ahead take your USB cable and connect your phone to the computer. On your computer, so you need to open the Odin and run it as administrator. Once you run the Odin as an administrator, so you are going to see the Odin and devices successfully communicating, indicating this is a blue color box that means both devices are successfully connected. Then after that click on the AP dialog box and then look for the TWRP file and then click on open. Once you click on the open, you can see the options button so make sure you have to untick the auto reboot option and then click on start. It's just going to take a 5 seconds, that's it, and then once you see the pass message, you, you can see the device is stuck at the download mode, so you have to take off your USB cable. Then after that, you need to take off your the back plate of your phone, then you need to take off your battery, and then after 3 seconds, you have to pop in your battery again. Then this time, we need to boot your device into the recovery mode. To do so, hold the volume up power and the home button until you see the uh, Samsung logo. Once you see the Samsung logo, let the let the keys go on and then your device will gonna be boot into the uh, Team Win Recovery project. So the first time you have to allow the modifications. Do not forget to allow these modifications. If you do any mistake and the root will not gonna be work. Then after that you need to click on the install then click on the uh, select storage and then look for the micro SD then click on OK so then uh, select the file that we copied earlier which is a zip file and then swipe to confirm flash don't worry about this a uh, red errors and it's just a normal don't worry about that one so then after that go ahead click on the wipe slash Delvic so it's gonna be fail don't worry then click on the reboot now so Put your device aside for some time so your device may gonna be restart and once the device gets restarted I'll be right back with you. Alright so now the device is successfully restarted then after that go to the Play Store and download the app called Root Checker. 
I already installed it root checker so but before that I'm gonna show you the uh, super su app which is installed or not so there you go you can see the super su installed that means uh, the root is successfully uh, applied to your Samsung J7 so then after that go ahead and open the root checker app again and then click on the verify root so once you click on the verify root, you can get a prompt message then click on the grant so that means you are done and your device is successfully rooted so that's how we can root the uh, Samsung J7 2016 and don't forget to check the description box very important information is there guys as always if you like this video thumbs up if you don't like this like this video and I will see you in my next video until then